and the camera's rolling. Hey, so you're going to talk to me. Well, good day, and uh, I'm Dirk Knudsen from Orenco, Oregon, and I'm a Hillsborough, Oregon, Washington County historian, and I came here today to talk to um, this young lady here, 97 years young, is that right? Mm -hmm. And so let's start off uh, by you telling me your name. And Vivian Grace Lucas. Vivian Grace? Middle name's Grace. Your middle name's Grace? That's a beautiful middle name. So Vivian, uh, you are 97 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's year 2020. So tell me what year you were born. 1923, 98. No, mom, no. 1920, uh, 1923. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1923. Yeah. And, and what day is she born? January? Uh, 28th of January. Oh, you got that part. Okay, my God, you were born in the roaring 20s. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, well, you were, but you were a baby, so they probably didn't roar too much for you because you, well, you were seven. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we know you're 97 years old and you were born in 1923, tell me where you were born. I was born in, on Jackson School Road, and and I was the, born in the first house on the left. They tore it down now because it was getting old and dilapidated, and they put a, put a uh, mo, uh, manufactured home there. Jackson School Road, and this is before US 26 was put in, before the big highway went in. So what, where were we at? Where are we at on Jackson School? Are we in North Plains or Hillsboro, or where, what's the cross what, street? Where are we? Well, it was it was uh, Lincoln House on the Lincoln property there, right next to the railroad tracks. Down down here. Yeah, right. The, okay, so down at the crossroads on the way to North Plains yep. is where you were born. In yeah. that little house, yeah, yeah. Lincoln Station used to be right there. Lincoln Station was there. So tell me now that I know you were you were born in the house. Yes. Oh my goodness, people don't do that very much anymore, do they? No. Nope. All right, and so now we know you're a little girl, little child growing up. What's the first thing you remembered in your life? That's a big question. Well, I should tell you, I we uh, after we lived there about. Four, three or four years, and my sisters and brothers all went to Jackson School. It was new then, and uh, they uh, we then moved up here on uh, Mason Hill. Mason Road. Hill. That was my grandparents' home, but they, they had my mother and dad would get on it and farm it. Well, that's pretty neat. Um... The one with the black walnut tree. So you remember moving from the house? Yes, when you I were did. A little girl. I was twelve years old. Okay, so do you remember anything from when you were real small in that first house? Did you have a barn? Or did you have a pet goat or a horse? Or what was it like being oh, a kid? I always had a riding horse. You did. Yes. Um, and when you were a little child, uh, let's talk about your mom and dad. So this is a good time to go from your childhood. Let's talk about the generation right above you. Who were those people? Who was your mother and who was your dad? My mother was Emma Marion Wheeler. Okay. But she married Guy Avon Wiesenbach. Wiesenbach. Okay. And so where was your mama from? Was she a North Plains girl? No, she was from Aloha. Okay. She was born in Aloha. So your mom's a Wheeler. And your daddy is a Wiesenbach. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk about them in a second. But now that we know who your mom and dad were, let's talk about grandma and grandpa on either or both sides. Do you remember your grandparents' names? I remember my uh, mother's dad and mother. Her mother lived quite a while after my dad, and grandpa passed away. But he, I don't, I forget what he died from, but. They then. It was an aneurysm. She stayed in the lower. That was the Wheeler. That's the Wheeler side of the family. So I so let's show people that are watching the camera here. Uh, let's see if we can get this down. Here's mom and dad, right? That look like your mom and dad. Yeah. Okay. So there's a nice picture of the mom and dad. There we go. Okay. I'll hold that there for just a second. So this is. Uh, Guy Avon Wiesenbach, uh -huh. Mark, born March 31st, 1887. He married 
Emma Marion Wheeler Wiesenbach, father of Vivian Grace Wiesenbach Lucas. That would be you, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and then your mom's Emma Marion Wheeler Wiesenbach. She's born March 17th, 18th. Say, my goodness, they, the two, your mom and dad were born very close to each other. Yeah. Very. And uh, so when you look at these two young kids, oh my goodness, they were not very old when they were born. I mean, when they were uh, married. Young, young, and what a good looking couple. Is that yeah. where you get your good looks? Aren't they beautiful? They are. So tell me about Wiesenbach, the name, or Wheeler, the name. What's that nationality? What's dad's German. nationality? German. And what is your. German Scotch Irish. I can't uh, okay. Scotch Irish. So we got the Scotch Irish in there. <laughs> That's pretty st tough stock. Yeah. Um, so I did a little research before I came out here. I'm just going to ask you a question here or two. Have you heard of a Scotchman from Reedville by the name of Isaac Allen? Yeah, he uh, my dad's uncle. That's your dad's uncle. So yeah. there's an article here that I'll post on this interview that talks about Isaac Allen of Reedville has passed away Thursday evening of an illness of several months. He was born in Warren County, Ohio in 1830. Yeah, and <laughs> he was met, wedded to Azenoth Swan, December 11th, 1830. Uh, in 1852, he and his wife crossed the plains to California. He became a miner. When they came to Oregon, they settled in Reedville, and he bought a tract of land from Samuel Sewell, who moved to... Um, well, this goes on and on and on. I got it. I, think I, got I, I it. don't think that's the story of that. Well, this was in the paper, but but anyway, it talks about uh, this is part of your family on your dad's mm -hmm. side. That may be her uncle's father, who was okay. buried at the Methodist Church there in West Union. That could be uncle's father. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I also pulled this little article. Put it right in your face. And this is prominent Reedville citizen passes away. Uh, Julius J. Wiesenbach died this last 30 after a long illness, was a modern woodsman and a moose. Do you know who Julius J. is? Is that your great-grandfather or your no, grandfather? I know. It says... No, Julius Wiesenbach, Mom. Who's Julius Wiesenbach? No, that was Uncle... Uh, uh, Paul's brother was Julius, and his his fa his father, right? Uh, what was what was your grandpa Wiesenbach's first name? I think that's your grandpa. Oh, oh. It says Julius J. Wiesenbach of Reedville has passed away at the family home Thursday night, August nineteenth, nineteen fifteen, oh, yeah. after an illness covering yeah. several months. Mister Wiesenbach was on his feet through the major part of his illness and was in the city but a few days prior. He was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1862, yeah. and in 1881 he was married to Miss Addie Weber. To this union was born one child, Miss Addie Meisenheimer of Portland. Yeah. But he married a second time, April 9, 1886, to Miss Ambersine Allen, and to them were born the following children. So he is the father of Guy and Julian Wiesenbach of Aloha. Mm -hmm. So that's your grandpa. Bonnie Major and Daisy we're at the home. My dad's brothers. Your dad's brothers. Uh, Frank, Wiesen, Frank Wiesenbach of Oregon City and three sisters uh, in, are residing in Louisiana. He was a member, uh, Julius Wiesenbach was a member of the Modern Woodman and also a member of Joseph L. Meek Lodge, Loyal Order of Moose of Hillsborough. The funeral took place Saturday at the Woodsman's Lodge at Reedville. Anyway, there's a picture of your granddad, J.J. Wiesenbach. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to leave that for you. And I'll just That's great. I'll show that real quick. Okay. So we got German, Scotch. We got all that going on. Um, <laughs> That's the family there. And this is his family, you think? Mm -hmm. Ah. All right. Let me see if I can. I keep flashing these. All right. There's, there's family, okay? And we'll have some of these pictures later. So that's uh, Grandpa Wiesenbach. Which they said is Jewel. This says he's named Julius. Well, they, they yeah. shortened it to Jewel. And your grandma's name was Amberzine. Uh, yeah. Amberzine. 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 What a name. Beautiful name. And then here we have in this picture Bonnie, Guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia, and Major. Those are your families. Daisy wasn't here yet, it says. No. 
So look at this fantastic history book on your family. I know. Who did that work? I don't know. I don't know where they got them. Well, it's pretty great. Um, None of us got a lot of people don't know much about their history. You come from pretty proud stock, yeah. I should say. Um, That's why I'm living to be 97 years old. Because you got good Scotch, Scotch bloodline, Scotch, and you got German, I guess, huh? Yeah. In the paper, I did some research in the new local newspaper, and so here's the Argus. For, or here is the uh, Friday Oregonian from 1931 under news flashes. These are little tidbits where they used to tell about what people were doing. And it, this one says, Mr. and Mrs. Guy Wiesenbach of North Plains yeah. visited Tuesday at the home of Mrs. Wiesenbach's mother, Mrs. Alice Wheeler. Yeah. So that's Grandma Wheeler. Yeah, that's mom, my mother's mother. And did you know your grandma pretty well? Oh, yeah. What was your grandma Alice like? What kind oh. of person was she? She was very, very proper, very nice. Are these all uh, devout Christians? Are they Lutherans or what's they're, their? Yeah, they're Christian. Good. Um, uh, what's the best thing you remember about Grandma? This is your Grandma. Well, that's Grandma. We that's Grandma Wheeler. Yep. That's yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can show that. Uh, where's that? There it is. There's Grandma Wheeler. Okay. So Grandma Wheeler now. You were just talking earlier about how your fo you moved from down on the corner in the little house you grew up in. You come up the hill here on Mason Hill when you were 12. What was that place like? Now, are we talking about a dairy now? Uh, what was, was it the Wheeler place you moved to? No, up here we bought right. the old Tompkins place. Yeah, you moved from the Lincoln place to the Wheeler place. Yeah, that's yeah. the first move. Right. So now tell me about the Wheelers. So we know your dad was a Wiesenbach. And the Wiesenbachs had a dairy in Reedville, didn't they, down in that area? Yeah. Okay, so now were the the Wiesenbachs were dairy people. Were the Wheelers dairy people? Or they were they had a farm here? Uh, well, I don't know, see how but they I I forget how they got the place. Well it was well, um, the the Wheeler place here. Well I think he put, would put Tad on it, his son. Right, but originally your grandpa Wheeler, that was that part of uh, Jacob's land. Yeah, it was one of Jacob's farms. This shows Alice Wheeler had a pre pretty big farm at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Right. So if I go down here where these big barns are in the grain mm -hmm. silos, yep. is that the farm? That's the farm. Wow. So if I go down Mason Hill, because just for those that don't know where we are right now, we're actually up on Mason Hill where you live now on two sixty fifth. So we're kind of back on. Above your old family farm, aren't we? We went down Mason Hill, and it's on the left side. Okay. If we're going down. Yeah, uh -huh. we're going down. So where I see these uh, barns and the grain silos, that's, yeah, they, that's Grandma Wheeler's place, sounds yeah. like. Yeah, then uh, Tad, the son of Wheeler's, he uh, put his son on the farm. Well... And they made, had a dairy, and they built that silo and mm -hmm. everything, and we had a herd of cattle. And they Did you milk. work on that farm as a child? Did they give you? No. You didn't have to work? No. Well, in the kitchen she did. These are the wheelers. I, I forget what they did. David they were still going to school. Like so that. let's talk about yeah. the wheelers. Here's David and Alice Wheeler. They were the founders of Aloha. Yeah. Yeah. And they founded Aloha, you're saying? How, yeah. When you say they founded Aloha, what is? How did they found Aloha? Well, they settled it. That was given to them as a wedding gift. There were, I believe, it was three hundred and some acres that was given to them by their by his father Jacob Wheeler from that had the acreage in Portland. So Jacob Wheeler had a large tract of land in the Aloha area, and they decided to make a community out of the land. Yeah. Well, that's a great story. Originally, I guess they call it Wheeler's Crossing. Wheeler's Crossing. I've heard that, yeah. but I never knew where that name came from. Mm -hmm. This is why this is really important, because even though some places might be kind of spotty for you, yeah. between your son and I over here, we're figuring it out, and you're very helpful. So you like Grandma Wheeler a lot? Was she tough, oh, or was yeah, she, she was she a, was she a sweet wonderful. lady, or was she tough? Was, was she tough on you as a kid, or was she a sweet? Was she a sweet lady, or oh, was she yeah. tough? Very sweet, and... She was quite a business because my dad 
paid her, he milked a few cows, and he'd give her half of the milk check. Oh. And here he had a family of seven, and he raised everything we ate. We had our own beef, our own pigs, and our own <laughs> eggs. Yeah. All you needed was a little flour. Yeah, my mother was the, was the baker, and she made all the bread. And you know, we always had about eight or ten people at, at dinner time. So farm hands and family and everybody yeah. sit down and eat, huh? How well, many loaves of bread did you bake a day? She ate, ate about eight, four four loaves a day, but she baked about uh, she had big pans like that and I think it was four loaves of bread in each one. This is her mom we're talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. And so the girls. Your mom had the the girls worked in the kitchen. Yeah. She had and bells. the men worked outside in the in the cow manure and all the farm and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Very proper back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Was what kid. was it like being a young woman back in those days? Well, we had a good time. We had we had a riding horse, and my dad and my brother went to an Indian auction sale, and they brought horses from Eastern Oregon. Like ponies? And they would auction them off. Yeah. And they had this little, we got this little pony called Tuffy. Wow. And he's a little strawberry roll, but boy, he was tricky. <laughs> You'd be galloping along, and all of a sudden, if there's a gate open over oh, here, you go switch. And he ditches. <laughs> and he wanted to run. He'd, he'd throw us off. <laughs> Were you? Did you get to become a pretty good uh, rider? Were you good with horses? Oh, yeah. We rode bareback, and we stuck on there. <laughs> so here you are living up here in the country. And back then, you were a ways out here. Nowadays, we think of it as being oh, close. Oh, yeah. I've got the Mason Hill, but just almost a dirt road. Yeah, not much going on up here. No. Pretty quiet and oh, nice. There's not, not quiet. There's a lot of houses in here. Now there is, yeah. We had uh, 40 acres up here on the hill. Gotcha. We bought a, the old Dennis place and grew strawberries. Whose place did you buy? Uh, the old Dennis place. They used to live up here, but she lived yet in California. Okay. But uh, we, we uh, finally... My husband and I. That was the Lucas place, because yeah. you got married, right? No, yeah. it isn't the Lucas. Yeah. Well, it, it, that's well, what people called it after you moved oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, that was ours for since 1942. Mason Hill, for people that don't know, is a really beautiful hill. When you oh, get up yeah. on top, it opens up, and you can see out and uh, flatter up there on the top. It's real nice in here because of... Well, before we talk about your husband, I want to talk to you about your school days. You remember where you went to school? Jackson School. Okay, and that was down there on the corner? Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about uh, the crossroads of West Union and Jackson School Road. Yeah, that's it. The brick house is there now. That was a schoolhouse yeah, there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Small school, little school. Oh, yeah. I, it, there were 12, 12 or 14 kids when I went. And you were in that bunch? Yeah. She was and I said all my sisters and brothers went there. She tied Tuffy up to those fir trees that grow in the back of the house. There. So you used to take your horse down to school? Yeah, my sister used to take us kids to school on the horse. <laughs> sometimes they'd tie him up there and leave him? Yeah. And then you'd ride him home? Well, sometimes we rode him and then later... we we'll walk him? We, we, we took him and tied him there. But my little old horse was a smarty. He knew how to untie the rope because he'd go home. <laughs> he'd run home. <laughs> what a great story. Then you'd walk home, which was about a mile oh, or yeah. so. Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah, kids nowadays. <laughs> they wouldn't understand, huh? Oh, gosh. Now, would all three, would, would two or three girls get on the horse at the same time? Yeah. Is just it? my, well, as we got older, some graduated. My brother graduated then in the, uh, from the eighth grade. And then my, uh, I I graduated then, then three years afterward, and then uh, uh, my little sister, and she he she uh, she then went there. Mm -hmm. So was that school? Uh, oh, good, we're getting a picture that's, that's here. Her, that's her. That's oh Joyce. boy, thank you. Yeah, we got Eric, the son, her son, with us here. By the way, he's helping out. 
That's so which one's her right here? Uh, no, one over. Yeah, here. Right there, huh? Here's Vivian right no, here. that's Joyce. That's, that's Joyce. Where's Vivian? Uh, she's not in that picture. You're not she in this picture. about after she left. <laughs> September 1937, that's Jackson School. Now, was Jackson School like first through eighth grade? Yeah. And then what happened in eighth grade? Where'd you go then? Well, they we went to North Plains School. North Plains School. Yeah, but they started running buses by then. Okay. Was that a was that a ninth grade school or was it a high school as well? Uh -huh. Did she go to high school there? At Jackson School. Yeah, she yeah, went, went to old high. Old high school. Okay, here's here's Vivian right here. Boy, you're a smart looking young lady there. <laughs> Nineteen thirty six, Vivian. Bob was the smartest kid because I was the only one in the six. And Bob Zerker was in that class, and Joe Connell, and uh, Floyd Van Dahlen. Of course, you got to have Van Dahlen in the mix, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lawrence Sandstrom, Emmett Bernards, uh, Emma Schroeder, Vivian Wiesenbach, and Marion Hathborn. I can't quite see. Yeah, that's all Mary. So those are some those are some family names. She, she was I know. A teacher, I believe Marion. I know the Zerker name a little well, bit. Marion Hathorn, Her husband was a the uh, uh, football coach at Hillsborough High School. Oh, I'll be darned! So you did go to Hillsborough High School. Oh yeah. What year did you graduate? Well, I I. Then or, my sister, she and her husband got the oldest sister. She lived at Platts and I. Oh. And uh, she, uh, they got in a wreck and she uh -oh. got kind of injured. So she said, why don't you come up and live with me at Platts and I. Okay. And uh, so my mom, she, they gave my the credit to do it. And so I went up there and and I went to Clapston I High School my junior and senior year. Okay. Tell them what your tell them the little high school. Tell them what your sister and your brother-in-law did up there. Oh yeah, that my uh, uh, brother-in-law he taught school. Mm -hmm. He was a principal. Yeah, and he was a principal mm -hmm. of the school at Clapston. Uh huh. And her wow. sister taught. And then my sister was a. Uh, Let's see, no, she didn't teach up there. Yeah, which, she taught. Which sister, what's your sister's name again? Julie? Alice. Alice. Okay. Alice News. Okay, that's pretty neat. So you, you by this time, you've lived in Washington County, and now you're out in Columbia County out there in Clapskin. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, was there a big difference between oh, living on the yeah. farm and living out there? You could get in every club and every... <laughs> Every activity they had. They were more like in town. Yeah. And here you were a country girl as a young woman. Uh -huh. And then here in your, your junior year, you're getting to be a teenage woman. And now you're amongst more people in a different group. Yeah. How was that? Did you like it out there? In oh, yeah. I? Yeah, I liked it real well. And then I graduated up there. Okay. What happened after you graduated? Well... I fell in love with my husband. All right, so tell me how you met this character. How'd you meet this guy? Well, his parents just lived up there along the road. Here? Yeah, the first place there on top of the hill. Here in Mason, uh, Mason Hill area? Uh-huh. So you came home, you were you knew him already. Did you go to school with him? No, he, he went to Grant High School in oh, Portland. So, so this is maybe a Portland family that moved out here? Yeah, they bought some well, ground. Her, her, his mother was a uh, was a chiropractor in Portland. I'll be dang. Irene Lucas, and uh, so I looked up the maps to see where the Lucas place is or was, I and uh, is there a Lucas place? There? I found Lucas on this map from 1964. Well, yeah, because they tore it down. And before that, it was owned by W. E. Rice, is who owned that same property. Yeah, and uh, the far I have the Wheeler farm here. It was interesting. In 1928, the map I have here shows, and you can kind of see it here. There's the Wheeler farm. It's long, and it crosses the road yeah. on both sides. But it's in Alice's name. Which you're, oh. It's interesting for a woman to own the title to the land in 1928. Yeah. The neighbors were the Krugers back then. Did you know the Krugers? Mm-hmm. And then up here, when I come up Mason Hill, I see that it's rice. But according to this, see, th this is the W. L. Lucas. Place. Oh, this was my grand his folks. His place. W. L. Lucas. Yeah. All right, we'll tell people. So here's the map here, and we're, here's your here's the Wheeler place down here. So if you come up Mason Hill, you'll see some large barns right here. This is where she grew up. 
up here is Lucas as you come up Mason Hill. Oh, yeah. And it's above where Jackson School Road comes in. Um, so here's the map that shows. I'll just give it to you. You guys can have these. Oh, yeah. Here's Wheeler. Um, and now this is 1964. And it shows Vanderzen and in control yeah, of the he, Wheeler place. Yeah, he bought. They and bought they still it. have it. That was Walt. And then up here we've got W and V Lucas. So that would be you, Vivian. And what's your husband's name? Uh, Bill. So William. William. Bill. Bill Wilburn. Wilburn, that's right. Okay. So there were two Lucases, and you had a pretty nice piece of ground up there on oh, top yeah, of the hill. Yeah, we were 40 acres. How old were you when you got married? Were you a young woman, like 18, or how old were you? Uh, oh, me, I was I was, I was, was of age. What was I, 21? No, <laughs> well, you could marry when you're you 17. You were 18. Dad was 21. Oh, I... So, I just got out of high school. Yeah. Straight out of high that school? September. Yep. You got married? That September we got married. And what happened after you got married? What What did your husband do for well, work? Well, we bought this 40-acre farm. Two old bachelors, Sutherlands, owned it. Mm -hmm. And we got it real cheap. Good. It had just a shack house built. but Not much on it. But it was big. It was a big big shack and so we bought that we got it I forget what all what we paid for it. two thousand dollars huh? two thousand dollars for 40 <laughs> acres in a shack and what year would this be she was born in 23 so let's go 1833 that's 1941 about yeah, the year Pearl uh, Harbor got bombed yep yeah. So you, you were married when Pearl Harbor got bombed and we jumped yeah, into the war do yeah. you remember that yeah the old house had a skylight in it and uh, they made an announcement to people to to always shut their blinds at night. Cover the skylight. Yeah, and cover the skylight. God forbid you get bombed by the Japanese. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. That and my brother-in-law was in the navy, oh. and they were up to Alaska. That he was sent to Alaska, and by golly, he said those Japs. They they got. They, shot they, at them they were worried about that up there in the islands yeah. up in Alaska. They almost had one too, and they chased them off of it. So, what was your husband? What was uh? What was, it's Bill, right? Your mm -hmm. husband. What was Bill doing for work? Well, was he farming? Well, we were then, but uh, we're growing strawberries. That's okay. There we go. Good. Yeah. Um, That's how they did it. That's supposed to be bad. Oh, okay. So you probably remember something like this, huh? Got a two-team. Yeah. <laughs> there's a two-team horse there. Yeah, his, old, his old, oldest son. Let me see. I'm going to put this. Draws. There we go. That's better. Yeah. So this is a picture of your husband with the two-team. And who's in the picture here? One of the horses? Yeah, that's on the back. Okay. There's a picture of the horse. Yeah, and the horse says, that. one of my team, Dick... Doc. Oh, Doc. Dolly, Dapple Gray, Percheron. And Doc is a Hamil Hamiltonia, 1948. So that's pretty cool. That must be Dolly. Hello, Dolly, as they say. You remember Dolly? Remember that yeah, horse? We bought him from a neighbor up there in Salberger. Salberger? That's a, that's a pretty well known name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've known him for years. And anyway, we. Uh, that they've been using them for logging, mm -hmm. and uh, they could the, the horse and do just what to do. Mm -hmm. It hits it to a log, and the horse pulled out. They were great horses. I mean, really strong, powerful. Did you guys have to log and kind of clear the land up there? Not, not too much. We did log it one year because there were a lot of trees starting to. Mm -hmm. Get too old. <laughs> so, but they were all good yet. But so that was kind of a scary time to first be a young lady getting married and hear your <laughs> husband's farming. He yeah. didn't have to go to war. Did Bill no, have to go no. to? War? He he had a uh, he didn't have a very good back. <laughs> oh. So they weren't taking him because he had a bad no. back. Mm -hmm. He had three ruptured cartilages. And uh, he came out, from, his family was from Portland, it uh -huh. sounds like, Lucas family, Grant High. Well, that's a pretty good stock. So you got country boy and city girl, or city yeah. boy and country girl get married. 
And now you're making your home up there. Uh, and how long were you in that place up on Mason Hill? A long time? Oh, I, we, I think we were up there 20, was it 15 or 20 years. Yeah, a pretty good run up there. Six, so when we moved up there. Yeah. And uh, what do you remember about the Warriors? Where did you have you had children? Obviously, one of them's here with us. How many kids did you end up having with your husband? How many children did you have? I had three boys. Three boys. And what are their names? Uh, Stephen, Stephen, Jeffrey, and Eric. So Eric's here with us today. Is Eric the baby or is he the oldest? No, he's my baby, but he, uh, he, I live, when he, they got married, we gave him five acres of land. Next door here? And Or up there? Right down here. Down. Okay, so your son, your son Eric here that's with us gets to be really close to help take care of you. Well, no, he, well, he is handy. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. I guess the tr I guess you get some yard work here once in a while, don't you? Oh yeah, she I, he's, she he's has an awful the last good, five years, awful good son. Well, he came from sounds like pretty good stock. Yeah, he married a really nice girl. Isn't that great? A detail that she left about out about uh, going back and forth to Jackson School was that used to flood down there. Oh, before they deepen the channel. And they got a cutest Creek. little grandson you ever saw. <laughs> he's so he's just talking now. Oh yeah. And he just talks like he like we do. Like a full a, a full so, grown man, huh? Yeah, he's just so smart. I mean, he, so he, he was he was asking me about when you rode your horse down to the school. Sometimes that would flood down there. So then what happened? You swam across or what? Remember when it used to flood on Jackson oh, Road? Oh yeah, yeah. We used my brother would take his shoes off and uh, help us kid. We were littler and and he'd carry, it? carry us over. Oh my God! But the milk truck would finally come if we were out at the same time on the road. What was the milk truck doing? Hauling milk down to the down to Hillsboro? Carnation. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So I've met with the. Um, Weibels and the Reedvigs on the other side of Hillsboro, and oh, yeah. their daddy used to haul milk to Carnation in those with a wagon and the team yeah. and the big tall milk canisters. So that's where everybody took their milk. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. And so that come from the Wheeler Dairy Farm uh -huh. down below. Well, it was Wiesenbach Farm, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the Wiesen, her father Guy Wiesenbach was running it at that time. Okay. But it was his in-laws' place. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes when I ask people about the Wiesenbach um, family, they'll say, oh, yeah, they had a dairy in Reedville or in that area. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That your daddy was running the Wheeler Dairy up here where you grew up in that farmhouse. Mm -hmm. So people sometimes that think they really know the history will get confused that, no, the Wiesenbach dairy was in Reedville. They're right. But also he was really running the Wheeler farm yeah. up here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gotcha. Now, remember you used to talk about the old woodcutters that would pick you up and carry you across the... Yeah, sometimes they were all in the bottom down there where it would flood over. Mm -hmm. They'd put on stilts and walk out to the road. Wow. <laughs> and it just little way. So they had wood stilts they'd walk around on. So the creek... Uh, they'd, they'd pick you up, though, and carry you across, right? Yeah. They'd How many kids there. were getting... Was it just your family, or were there other kids from the neighborhood? going down there to school. How many kids were coming off the hill here to go across that? Well, Was it just uh, you guys, or? There wasn't any other one but us kids. Mostly they, you. Then it finally began to settle up here because there were uh, the woodcutters that cut all the wood off, the mm -hmm. trees, and the- People began, built houses and stuff. Yeah. Tell yeah. about the wildflowers, Mom. How you used to go wildflower picking. Oh yeah, every spring we'd go wildflower picking. And there were trilliums and lady slippers and jolly junk up and jump, wow. jump up. But they were just beautiful in there. And we have some of those still, but not as many, I don't think. Very few of the lady slippers. Yeah, there, Eric, so. he's, a, he's a flower nut. Tell them about yours, Eric. No, this is your story, Mom. <laughs> so now, so you're married, you got your sons. Um, you've never really lived in Hillsboro, but you did go to Hillsboro High School. Yeah. So, we had a bus that come around 
every morning by eight o'clock and would go around Shady Brook and back north Plain Road. It's a long ride, pretty long ride down yeah. to Hillsboro. What do you remember about Hillsboro in those days? Is that a place you'd go watch the movies or go have a date or what would happen down there? Oh, we I don't know. I I we just went to school and took all those subjects we had to take. And so you went in the old the uh, this would be the high school that had the yeah, the old uh, the older one. They tore it. One. They tore it down now, but um, yeah, it was really kind of a beautiful school. Oh, it was a nice. It was a good school. That's yeah. what a wonder they didn't keep it. I got to go there one year when it was J.B. Thomas, oh, a middle school. It? But uh, yeah, a lot of hard feelings when they tore it down. That it could have been saved and all of that. Um, you know, times changed. Obviously, in your lifetime, you've seen a lot of change. Oh yeah. Um, so you lived on Mason Hill the whole time with her husband, or what happened after they left here? Did they come? Did she come here? After they left, up, up on top here. Up, up on top. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's when she married Dad, and then came and set, and bought this. Okay. Uh, just a detail about the Wheeler place and the black walnut trees along yep. the road there. Okay. Her and her dad planted those trees. Yeah, there. I held those trees there they when were they were just little trees. So if I go see those big black walnuts, those are your. Yeah. Those are your. You did that, huh? And that was kind of her tradition in their family because on Johnson Road in yep. Reedville. Okay. Yep. The black walnut trees that are there. Yep. Her grandfather and her dad planted those. Oh, and you know what? They just cut a whole bunch of those. That's yeah. Sad. I thought it was sad. Yeah. So your dad, her dad? Yeah. Okay. Your dad planted the black walnuts along Johnson Street near the Reedville Elementary yeah, yeah. School. Did you ever spend any time in Reedville with family down there? No. Okay. Uh, the house was getting... Dilapidated. No, he, he's asking if you spent time with family at Reedville. Did you know people in Reedville? Um, I didn't know. Well, your aunts and uncles. Well, cousins. I knew all my relatives. And, uh -huh. yeah. and there was and Hen I, Henry and Bonnie Haig. Oh, yeah. Well, you knew the Haigs. What was Henry Haig like? Oh, he was, I don't know, he was a nice guy. Guess he was kind of a go getter. He had, he had uh, three wonderful kids, though. Marion and the girl and two boys. Yeah, Richard and, and uh, well, I forget the other one. Now. That's okay. It's been a long time. Did you ever know any of the Imleys down there? The Imleys. Imlay family from yeah. Reedville. Did you know them? I knew of them. I yeah, them. one of my clients is Kathy Imlay, and she's ninety-three. And oh. I did one of these interviews with her. Oh. Her granddaddy was the one that built the grain elevator. Oh, yeah. Where the White Rabbit is now. And her family owned the Reedville store. Oh, yeah. And people now drive right by Reedville like it's nothing. But it was quite a going yeah, little concern. Mm -hmm. They had a train stop, and they had the granary there, and a lot of farm activity. Yeah. Well, it's fascinating that the Wheelers were instrumental in starting Aloha. Because oh, that yeah. was quite a, it's become quite an area. People people don't know that history. Yeah. And his uh, brother... He, he started the first ha a fish hatchery down in Wheeler, Oregon, uh -oh. down the coast. So Wheeler, Oregon, uh -huh. is that your family? Uh -huh. Yeah, the Wheelers, yeah. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So Wheeler's on the Nehalem Bay, right near Manzanita and uh, Nehalem. But yeah, it's a little area with a store, and so he did the hatchery down there. So your family goes back uh, 